Greetings, YouTube. You might think that starting with a victory screen is a good thing. And I guess compared to the alternative, it is. I have 20% health left, fought this Mangog boss for the first time in the new maze side quest for this week. 47 second fight, 23 highest combo, got wrecked several times, and ended up getting, you know, the small amount of Mysterium that I guess I need. Um, I find this to be so mind-numbingly uncreative, confusing, unnecessarily complicated. And I... I think the hardest part about this is it reminds me of my own field. So what I mean by that is when journalism first went on the internet, it did not take free uh, articles serious enough. And it gave, it gave everybody a free access to the paper thinking that it would be like free publicity. But then the people who paid for it were like, well, why would I pay for it when I can get it for free? And so then, of course, that combined with a thousand other things was the death of newspapers in this country as we know it, or in this world, really, uh, amongst maybe some other local journalism and stuff like that. Well, we've had for months this incredible opportunity to get, as players who care about uh, both a generic six-star awakening gem and a class-based gem, those gems every month. But this month's side quest has prevented us from doing that because they want to limit what we have essentially taken for granted in the eyes of Caban for months in the side quest. You only get to get the six-star class-based awakening gem or the generic or the five-star or the five-star class. That's it. Whereas in other months, we were getting all of them. On top of that, while these fights aren't really that difficult they're also not as easy as we've seen in past months so you have increased the difficulty of the side quest and decreased the rewards and my guess is you wanted to reset players expectations of what they should get out of the side quest because this is probably going to be the new format from now on because that's how historically Kabam has operated when they change the rewards up of event quest or side quest or you name it. And again, I'm not saying that this is necessarily very difficult. What I am saying is that it is more difficult than before, way more complicated than before, for like 25% of the rewards we've gotten when you get all of the side quest difficulties thrown in at the same time. So... I don't know what to say other than it's all just contributing to player fatigue, which might help with spring cleaning, but of course spring cleaning for the most part, other than a couple of things, is cash-based for the holiday. So is spring cleaning going to save the fatigue and then lead us to July 4th? I don't know. I think Kabam will regret the day that they gave Valiant players the guaranteed six-star for early access bundles. And they already regret the day that somebody said, hey, for the new side quest, let's just give everybody a generic and a class-based gem. What a, what a great idea. And then they realized, oh, Kabam realized they were too generous and it's causing player fatigue. On top of everything else. So, again, I'm not doing these fights because they're hard. But it is just a showcase of the annoyance and stress that can come from a side quest that before now was, was pretty fun. You know? Pretty fun. I would recommend doing this for those of you who aren't Paragon or Valiant. On a hero use day, I've gotten a ton of hero use points in my 22-hour event with eight hours still left. 
I'm going to fight this guy with Hulk off camera because I think, honestly, my point's been made and it's going to save you some time. And less time is great for less ads. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Let me know what you think of the side quest in the comments below.